Hello everyone, this is Kay with Japan National Tourism Organization. I've been really fortunate in my years with the Tourism Board to be able to travel all over Japan and see so many incredible off the beaten path destinations that most travelers don't know about. So I want to introduce these places to you and show you how you can recreate these incredible experiences for yourselves. The next destination that I want to highlight is Matsushima. This is in the north in the Tohoku region of Japan in Miyagi Prefecture. And it's actually believed to be one of the three most beautiful views in Japan and was even written about by the famous poet Basho. And one of the great things about Matsushima is that you can take a cruise through the beautiful bay. So you'll start off going by bullet train to Sendai Station and then switch to a local line to take you to Shiogama Station. From there, you'll hop aboard the bay cruise and it'll take you across Matsushima Bay where you can depart the bay from there. And one of the great things about all of this area is that it's covered in tiny little islands that are dotted with pine trees. This is where Matsushima gets its name from actually, meaning Pine Island. And the locals really feel a sense of gratitude towards these little islands because back in 2011, when the tsunami hit, those islands were one of the things that protected them from the worst of the tsunami. So the locals speak very highly and have little stories tied to each and every one of those islands as you travel through. Once you get uh, off the bay cruise, from there, you can go to one of my favorite places, which is one of many oyster huts throughout the area. The oysters in Matsushima are incredibly fresh and famous throughout Japan, and they're oysters without pretension. So when you go to the hut, it's just a little mom and pop shop, and the oyster farmers bring in the oysters fresh that morning, literally by the shovel full, and you just sit down, have your bowl of miso soup and rice, and you just dig in once those oysters are done steaming, and there's no sauce, no lemon, no nothing, just the most fresh oysters you've ever tasted in your life. And you can even pair that with a little beer or sake, but you have to get up yourself and get it from the little refrigerator in the hut. So if you wanna see the best place to get oysters in Japan, head to Matsushima. And one of my favorite things about this area and Tohoku region in general is just the warmth and the kindness of the locals. When we were eating in our little oyster hut, we stepped outside to find that there was a little foot bath um, waiting for us. And we just took our shoes off and we were relaxing in the hot water. And one of the locals struck up a conversation with us. And my friend who was with me couldn't speak any Japanese, but she could understand that the woman was asking us if we needed a towel to dry our feet with. And she told her that we didn't have one. So the little woman, she nodded her head, she got up, walked away. And when she came back, she had two towels that she had just pulled out of her car for us. And she just gave them to us so that we could dry our feet. It's that kind of warmth and kindness that you can expect from the Tohoku people. And it's honestly one of the things that keeps me going back every time. So if you find yourself going north, uh, through Japan's Tohoku region, definitely stop by Matsushima and see all of these experiences for yourself.